Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. In this video, I will show you my next circuit, which is a very efficient, low current, low startup boost regulator based on the microchip MCP1640. This chip has some amazing characteristics. It has a very low voltage startup around 0.7 volts and an even lower operation voltage which can go as low as 0.35 volts. Here is the prototype that I made. This PCB can be trimmed down to 23 by 23 millimeters. I used SMD electrolytic capacitors but microchips suggest ceramic capacitors which are even smaller. And if you also remove the gigantic terminals that I used the PCB can become less than 10 by 10 millimeters. On the top side of the PCB I have two terminals and one jumper. This dual terminal is the voltage output, the positive and the negative. The input voltage is applied at the outer connectors of the triple terminal, the positive and the negative again. The middle connector is the enable signal. Leaving this connector unconnected, the boost regulator is turned off and the whole circuit draws less than one microampere of current in standby mode. Pulling this connector high, the booster turns on permanently. For this prototype, I've also included a bypass jumper for the enable function. By bridging this jumper, the booster is always on regardless of the enable connector. Let's now see what this chip can do. The output voltage can be controlled by two resistors which perform a voltage divider. In the datasheet there is a calculation formula for these resistors as well as two examples for 3.3 and 5 volts. Since I plan to power LEDs with this prototype, I've set the circuit output to about 3.4 volts. As you know, LEDs have a certain forward operation voltage to provide full brightness. Even a few millivolts can change this brightness significantly. The LEDs that I plan to use for example operate at 3.4 to 3.6 volts and draws a maximum of 100 mA. Check out the current to voltage characteristic of these LEDs. The current and thus the brightness falls rapidly to zero if the voltage becomes less than 2.5 volts. The fact that LEDs have such a narrow operating voltage makes it difficult to power them from batteries. Two AA batteries for example can provide a maximum of 3 volts if they are connected in series, which is barely enough to operate the LEDs at half its brightness. Two AA rechargeable batteries provide maximum 2.4 volts, so even if they are fully charged, they barely turn on the LEDs. For the following examples, I will be using two 100 mA Avago LEDs connected in parallel. First, I will power these LEDs with uh, two new batteries connected in series, which provide about 2.9 volts. As you can see, the current through the LEDs is about 35 mA and they are quite fade. Let's now insert the booster circuit between. The open circuit output voltage is now 3.4 volts. This is enough to provide 145 mA of current to the LEDs. Next, I will use two fully charged rechargeable batteries which provide a total of 2.5 volts. As you see, the LEDs barely light at 1 mA of current. Inserting these batteries to the booster regulator, the open circuit voltage is again 3.4 volts and connecting the LEDs, it can provide about 130 mA of current. And here is a more extreme situation. I will completely remove one battery and I let the circuit operate with only one rechargeable battery providing 1.2 volts. This is the same as if there were two 0.6 batteries. As you can see, 
The open circuit voltage is still 3.4 volts. The circuit cannot provide more than 50 mA because the providing voltage is too low, but still, for a flashlight application it is enough, unless of course you search for a needle in a haystack. I totally recommend this chip for low power, low footprint applications. You can consult this set of characteristics to ensure that the output power fits your needs. Follow the link that I provide in the info of this video to read the full article and get the PCB drawings and the schematic for this circuit. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit my website for more interesting circuits.